What up, world? It's your boy Sky broadcasting live, and you know now I'm gonna do another video today. You know, um, earlier today I had a video, and I really didn't have much to say because I just my mind was that calm and still, you know, before I got plugged into the matrix. <laughs> But, you know, things pick up as the day progresses. That's life. Um, but anyways, I guess what I have to say today, or right now, is about how to forgive ourselves and how to move forward from mistakes. So, I'm still working on this myself. I'm still improving this within myself, within my life, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I really have to work on letting that go and improving it, honestly. Because, you know, that's the healthy thing to do. <laughs> so, yeah, personally, I've made, you know, so many mistakes, so many failures disappointments like unexplainable it's unexplainable honestly it's unexplainable because I have experienced consequences just like the rest of the universe experiences consequences for certain actions and mistakes of different levels and different you know scenarios and whatnot so um, this guy's going super slow. And that lady is going super slow. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I guess what I have to say now is, like, you know, I guess just learning from the mistakes and at the same time learning from other people's mistakes, too, so that we don't have it happen again, so that we prevent it from happening again. <clears throat> Because if I had, you know, the ability to just go back in time and twist the hands of time, turn back the clock of time to change some things for the better, I would. But that's not the case. So, we don't have, we don't do that, alright? So, just have to let go, you know, and honestly learn and be grateful for what I do have right now, you know? And honestly, what helps me as well is just realizing things can always be worse, too. You know, the mistakes really <laughs> had the opportunity to go even further south and f worse more worse with even more disastrous consequences so that's across all of life but I'm just saying you know we have to realize and learn from it and learn from others too so I used to think that you know can do anything and just be cool and it's, we can be anything you know and at the same time there's an effect for every cause there's a consequence for every action you know and that's just facts you know what I'm saying it's facts and we're not perfect people just have to really be accountable for our actions and decisions, you know, and I'm learning this, obviously I'm working on it, you know what I'm saying, but I guess just having that knowing really helps out a lot, because 
sometimes some of these mistakes and slip ups and whatnot can really hang over our head and can really stick with us, you know, and it's best for us just to make peace, to make peace with it. Oh, snap. To make peace with it. <laughs> to make peace with it and to, you know, move forward uh, with knowing better, you know, when we know better, we do better. So that's all I'm saying. You know, it's a learning process. It's all a process. It's earth school. You know, we're all students of life, of different aspects and have different specialties and, you know, different fields of the world. So that's what I have to say about that. Um, it just gives us the ability to really move forward with more wisdom and knowledge of how to do something, how not to do something. That's what I'm saying. easier said than done, I know, I'm very aware of it, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying what's helping me right now get through it, get through my mistakes from my early days of, you know, a self-destructive lifestyle, and now, just all throughout my life, you know what I'm saying, it's always going to be stuff we learn from throughout all of our life and honestly it's best that we learn some of these really hard lessons you know when we're young uh, because they can prevent us experiencing even worse lessons and worse consequences when we're older when we do know better you know so that's a blessing, you know, to have learned, okay, I'm not even gonna lie, I am not even religious, really, I will say that I do have a lot of history and life experience in the church, and with the pastor, and I remember, I, my pastor was giving me wisdom about, you know, controlling my impulses and anger and just, you know, being more mature about things when I was a lot younger. And he was saying, you know, it's like ourselves, like we're like a, a meter, you know what I mean? We have different bars and like levels and limits, you know what I'm saying? It's all the same thing, but notches, you know what I'm saying? You say, okay, I'm staying right here. I'm not letting it get up here. You know what I'm saying? I'm staying right here, down. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of understood what he what he said back then. But then, now I really understand it a lot more. You know, because yes, we are limitless. You know what I'm saying? We are limitless life forms. You know. And at the same time, we're intelligent. We are aware of the consequences of certain, of all actions, honestly. So, with that being said, it's like, you know, if someone drinks three gallons of alcohol, Guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna die. If somebody gets a knife, a sharp knife, and they just throw it at a balloon, guess what? The balloon will pop. But, let's say, and also, here's another example. Let's say you throw a sponge 
a soft rubber ducky at a balloon, the balloon's just gonna bounce back, is what I'm saying. So, with that being said, we have to know what's the wisest way to really just hone in and let it go and stick at that equilibrium of health instead of escalating in an unhealthy toxic way is what I'm saying from experience from witnessing other people's experiences and having other people share their experiences as well that's all I'm saying you know and honestly I felt very embarrassed about my actions some of my actions some of my really bad mistakes really bad um, choices and whatnot stuff that really stuff where I really crossed the line is what I'm saying where I really crossed the line is you know I'll never get it back none of us will ever get those moments back you know and I'm praying for the day we can actually appreciate these mistakes these lessons and see them as blessings and realize them as blessings and be able to you know move forward with it with a state of peace of mind and relief that is gone and that is over with and that we know better and that's the reason we're doing better at such a an early age because we learn the lessons so young so that's my stance on that um, it's true you know because <clears throat> it sticks all of these experiences throughout our life stick with us you know I don't know too much about all of this you know hallucinogenic drugs and stuff like that I do have a little bit of insight and wisdom about DMT and stuff like that I've, you know I just am aware that our body in a healthy state is supposed to naturally produce that you know so along with other natural remedies and whatnot we're supposed to secrete that and have that flowing through our system you know and my point is is that you know it's our we're living a movie you know what I mean like our, this is our vehicle our body you know that's why it's important for us to really wake up and stay as awake as possible to make conscious productive takes and clips in our movie all these scenes like me driving right now is a scene driving down this road in the middle of the road is a scene you know what I mean is a, a part of a film a part of the clip of my movie, our movie, and y'all watching, y'all watching me, us connecting right now, is also part of the movie too, down the line, when we're old, when we're about to die, or we're gonna see, we're gonna remember these moments, and probably, honestly, when we actually are about to die, we're gonna see our whole film, our whole movie, go right through our eyes, right through our soul, you know, <coughs> see how we became the hero of our story, how we overcame and chose love to conquer all, and we're able to be the heroes of
the wrong story. The stars of our own movie. With other cameo appearances and features and whatnot. Actors and actresses. Beings, humans. You know what I mean? So, that's how deep it is. It's true, though. It's very true. So, I guess how to forgive ourselves from mistakes is just also not justifying our current state with past behaviors, past mistakes, like, you know what I mean? Like, I heard Ralph Smart, Infinite Waters, in one of his videos, he says, well, that means, you know, not justifying why you haven't done the laundry yet, you know what I mean, because, you know, we gotta be growing around here, you know what I'm saying, like, if we really keep saying, oh, I was busy, I was busy, I was, you know, cooking, I was working, I was watching TV, I was watching YouTube all day, I was writing a book, I was resting, you know, over and over again with different scenarios, and the laundry still isn't clean yet, you know, you gotta line things up, you know what I mean, you gotta be like, oh, I'm gonna do it, I'm doing it, I'm doing the laundry right now, oh, you know what, I'm grabbing the bags of laundry, the baskets of laundry, and I'm literally washing the laundry now. Instead of putting it off over and over again. And that goes with so many other scenarios in life, you know. That's what I'm learning and realizing. From frustration, anger, arguments, all these things. It all goes, it's all connected, it all goes hand in hand, you know. <clears throat> hand in hand so I guess it's responsibility and maturity about that of course for real because we really got to check ourselves in the mirror you know check our sanity you know what I'm saying on it like for real because you know that's why it's important know to like not be isolated you know what I'm saying that's why I'm always a big supporter of you know getting yourself out of isolation for anybody who's in a dark place dark state you know down point in their life maybe feeling isolated very alone or whatnot I am proof and a supporter of, you know, monogamy. So, uniting with your your significant other, of family connections, of, you know, a support team, community network, you know, to really be able to Check yourself out in the real world, not as in comparison, but just as to know that you are not alone and to be experiencing other perspectives and other energies. So we can all learn and improve different aspects of our life. That's the main reason family and like, you know, living with your significant other, you know, if you have whatever your case may be, is amazing. Because in my experience, living with her as my significant other.
really, I'm able to craft and improve so much in my life because it's reciprocal, you know what I mean? So like, if I literally don't do nothing, don't do anything all day and Responsibilities, and I have a lot more room to grow and whatnot. And yet, at the same time, I'm putting it off, procrastinating. I want to see the results, you know. And at the same time, if I really put in an intelligent amount of effort into reality, our world, you know, our, our residence, you know, relationship, everything, all of that, then I see it reciprocated, you know what I mean, and I encourage people to do that with their partner, because symbiosis symbiotic relationship across the world with ourself with our partner and throughout nature throughout you know strangers with associates family business opportunities, clients, you know what I'm saying, all of that shows a direct representation of, oh, I can do this, you know, so that's why I love to see, so we can work on, so I know that was a little all over the place. Not well, not even. I'm not gonna judge that. I'm done judging myself. I'm just saying this is what's helped me and what is helping me to move forward from my mistakes, how to forgive myself and how to really atone for my actions, correct my ways, and better myself to heal and to function optimally in the world in the universe because we have to be solid within our truth within our spirit you know what I'm saying if we really deep down dream of a certain life and aspire to live a certain way then we're supposed to do it, you know, then we're supposed to do it, we're supposed to follow through with it, and along that way, as we're clearing everything out, as I'm clearing everything out, you know, to really just focus in, and lock in, and just stick to the plan, you gotta let a lot of thoughts, people, places, things that are not serving us, go, we gotta let it go so we can grow, you know, and I don't know about any men in black type of pin that makes us just forget everything, do know that the more we keep going forward, the more we process it properly, the more we come to peace with it, the more healthier we are overall. The better we're able to move forward and live life, you know? So that's what I'm saying. It's helping me in my experience, experience of healing, experience of, you know, forgiving myself, experience of learning from my mistakes and preventing 
the same mistakes and worse from happening and really just now having mistakes and failures as just, you know, tools to help me step forward with and help me instead of attack me. So if y'all understand what I'm saying about that, raise your hands up high to the sky. So anyways, it's your boy Sky broadcasting live eternal authenticity. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the comments, the love. You know, I share it on social media. You know, I share it with my partner. I share it with my family. Like, and that's straight facts. You know, with my my close core friend circle to people I've never even met before who leave amazing comments and subscribe and like and everything and share. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. I'm always going to stay true to myself and to my dream. So thank you for watching. I am sending y'all all of the dope vibrations I have your way in hopes that you will be able to have something from this video to help you along your journey. Thank you again. I'm out. Peace.